Okay, now let's do example 9. A copper ball with a radius of 1.6 cm is heated to 353 degrees Celsius. The diameter of the ball has increased by 0.1 at millimeter. If the coefficient of volume expansion for the copper is 51 exponent negative 6 degree uh, per degree Celsius, calculate the initial temperature of the ball. Okay, so let's see what is the information we are given. So we are given the initial radius of the ball, 1.6 centimeter, and then we are also given the initial temperature, which is 353 degrees Celsius. Now we are given that um, the ball has increased, uh, the diameter of, of the ball has increased by 0 0.1 at millimeter. Okay, so this one is actually delta T because it is uh, the increase of the diameter. Maksudnya perbezaan dekat situ, bukan the final diameter. So, we are given here already delta D is 0 0.1 at negative 3 meter, already convert to meter. And the radius also already convert to meter and then the temperature and also the coefficient of the volume expansion which is gamma. So, what do we want here? We want to calculate the initial temperature. Oh, sorry. So, this one is not initial. This one is final temperature because it says here, a copper ball with a radius of 1 point centimeter is heated to. Okay, maksudnya, this is the final temperature. So, we want to find the initial temperature. So, this one, gunakan formula yang sama um, with the previous with the previous example because we want to find uh, because we are given in terms of diameter so kita kena gunakan linear expansion punya formula di mana d sama dengan d naught d sama dengan d naught 1 plus alpha delta t di mana delta t adalah t minus t naught okay but since we are given in terms of gamma here yeah, we can use this relationship to find the value for alpha, so alpha will be equal to gamma divided by divide, divided by 3. So gamma tadi adalah 51 exponent negative 6 divided by 3. So alpha will be equal to 1.7 exponent negative 5 per degree Celsius. So kita gunakan this one. And then just masukkanlah form, um, information yang kita ada. So initial uh, initial value of the radius is this one. Wait, I just realized here is radius. So this one is diameter. So kita kena cari um, the diameter first lah. So diameter initial adalah 2 times with the initial radius which is equal to equal to 3.2 cm so kita terus ubah kepada meter 0.032 meter and then final diameter final diameter adalah sama dengan 0.032 meter tambah dengan 0.18 exponent negative 3 this one adalah the change in the diameter so kita kena tambah so you will get 0.032 meter. So masukkan 0.0318 initial 0.032 1 plus alpha 1.7 exponent negative 5 and then t minus t initial. So, this will be the final temperature, 353, then minus initial. So, kita akan dapat T initial is equal to 22.1 degrees Celsius. Okay, or we can also use 
another formula which is actually formula yang kita dapat uh, derive daripada ni. Di mana uh, that formula is delta D is equal to D naught alpha T minus T naught. Sama juga lah basically. So this one dekat sini delta D kita boleh terus masukkan yang kita dibagi. Which is 0.18 eksponen negatif 3. And then D naught is 0.032. Alpha is 1.7 eksponen negatif 5. T minus T naught. So kita still akan dapat jawapan yang sama 22.1 degree Celsius.